Hi there, it's Roxanne and Asante from Fresh Paint Studio. We're here to talk to you about our Fresh Paint To Go series, and we're gonna be talking about painting designs on canvas today. So we've got some really cool designs to share with you and some tips and tricks and ideas. So I've got a Raptors image here, and Asante's got her really cool unicorn image here. So your first step is to think about, of course, what kind of image you wanna put on. So Asante, she chose her uh, unicorn image here, and you've got some uh, turquoise and you've got some pink. What other colors did you choose to paint on your canvas, Asante? So I choose black for the nails, I choose purple for the body, mm -hmm. I chose turquoise and pink for the tail, and I choose lots of different colors to make this. Yeah, it's awesome. So she's got some really, really cool, fun colors going on. And she's also, I think, got a watermelon in there in the, the corner. And she's also got a flower as well. So Asanta, she didn't just do the actual image, she actually added some other ideas of her own creatively onto this canvas. So for myself, I've got a Raptors image here. So I've got my Raptors mascot and I've got the basketball. So some really fun things going on there as well. And I could have added more things like a, a background as well. So after you've chosen your image, it's time to think about, well, how does that image get onto the canvas, of course? So you want to do a little bit of tracing on paper or you can just get a line drawing off the internet. And then you're going to pop that image into the canvas here. So you pop it in the back and then you need to get some kind of a light source that's going to help the light to shine through so that you can easily trace that image onto your canvas. You can use a light box, of course, or just regular sunlight as uh, good enough as well. So after you've got that done, you're then going to think about, well, what kind of um, different paint colors you're going to use. So maybe some different contrasting images and colors and stuff like that. So you've got your turquoise and you've got your pink. Uh, those are great contrasting images. Or here, my contrast might be my red, my blue, and my white. So really making those uh, paint colors stand out. So those are some of the things to think about after you've thought about your image and you've transferred your design, thinking about paint colors and how you're going to do it. So I think when you're starting the painting process, it's good to start with what kind of brush, Asata? Thin brush. Yeah, so it's great to start with a thin brush first and then to do some of those details. So you've got the detailed work, maybe the horn, the eye as well. And then to jump into a thicker brush, right Asante? Yeah. So a thicker brush maybe for the body here, and even if you wanted to do some background colors as well. Another trick that you can do for um, painting your background would be, what's this Asata? A sponge. Yeah, so we could use a sponge uh, to do some sponge painting here and to do some textured work as well. Could have done that as well on my painting as well. So sponges are great for adding a different texture type of idea to your painting. So those are just some tips and tricks and ideas in terms of the actual process of painting and how to transfer the image onto canvas. If um, you are in need of any of these items, of course, you can find them at any craft store, but if you are looking for a convenient kit um, to be sent to you, we can definitely send you everything here, the canvas, um, the image as well, um, and all of the paint brushes, the supplies that you need for painting. If you are interested in a kit, basically what you can do is you can uh, send us an email at info at freshpaintstudio.ca or you can check out the website as well at freshpaintstudio.ca. So in that way, we can definitely send everything to you and you've got it all there at home to keep the kids busy. This is a really fun and engaging project to keep the kids creatively engaged and busy and it's one that uh, hopefully you can try out at home. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching. Um, take care and stay creative.